Today's lesson Avogadro's law. Italian scientist Amadio Avogadro put forward a relationship between gas volume and its amount, which is known as Avogadro's law. This is today's lesson. Let's go to the detail. One mole oxygen is equal to, we can write, 32 gram oxygen. Mole means molecular mass expressed in gram. 32 gram oxygen, its volume is 22.4144. Liters. This 22.414 liters oxygen contains 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. So, one mole oxygen that is 32 gram oxygen, its volume is 22.414 liters that contains this number of molecules. Again, one mole carbon dioxide is equal to 44 gram carbon dioxide. Volume of 44 gram carbon dioxide is 22.414 liters at STP, standard temperature and pressure. This volume of carbon dioxide gas contains 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules, which is obtained by different experiments. Here we see that equal volumes of all gases contain equal number of molecules under similar conditions of temperature and pressure. This is Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of all gases contain equal number of molecules under similar conditions of temperature and pressure. Here, uppercase N means number of molecules. And N A means Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is this number 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. This is Avogadro's number, which is denoted by Na. Here, we can write volume of a fixed amount of any gas is proportional to number of molecules. Because we know equal volumes of all gases contain equal number of molecules under similar conditions of temperature and pressure. So, we can say that at constant temperature and pressure, volume of a definite mass of any gas is directly proportional to the number of molecules. Again, number of molecules is proportional to number of moles. Lowercase n means number of moles, that is, number of molecules is proportional to number of moles under similar condition of temperature and pressure. From these two equations, we can write volume of a definite mass of any gas is proportional to number of moles under similar conditions of temperature and pressure. This is actually Avogadro's law. Volume 
of a definite mass of any gas is directly proportional to the number of moles. Again, equal volumes of all gases contain equal number of molecules under similar conditions of temperature and pressure. From this equation, we can write V is equal to volume is equal to constant for removing proportional sign here n then we can write v by n is equal to constant here we can say that volume per mole gas is constant that is one mole of any gas volume will be constant one mole of any gas volume will be constant here one mole oxygen volume 22.414 liters one mole carbon dioxide volume 22.414 liters that is volume per mole gas will be constant that is 22.414 liters at STP. This is all about Avogadro's number. Thank you very much.